This video is going to be a brief introduction to the concept of library research databases. If you've never used a database before, it can be kind of confusing. So this video hopes, uh, hopefully will dispel some of that. So I'm going to click alphabetical just to show you the long list of databases that you have access to at FSW. There's over a hundred at any given time. So the reason that we don't start you on this alphabetical list is it can be hard to figure out where you're going. Um, that's why we start you on this subject list. But the big question, if you don't know what databases are, what do they do? So databases uh, are nothing, nothing too super scary. This is academic search complete or opposing viewpoints. A basic research database um, searches articles, academic articles that you can use to support your own research, uh, expert opinions that will work in your papers. So we have articles. We also have items like Oxford Reference, which has academic encyclopedia style information. We have newspaper databases that index news articles locally and from across the United States. Um, on top of databases like that, we have Films on Demand, a database that indexes tens of thousands of films at any given time, full length streaming at home on your desktop. We also have databases like ArtStore, an entire database of nothing but artistic images. Um, so no articles at all, just images. And of course, you can go straight to our collections of electronic books and browse them without having to uh, ever look for them or encounter them in our library catalog or finding tool. You can come right to the databases and, and look at collections of ebooks um, to browse them here. So there's all types of different information in a database, but your main thing you'd be looking for here are journal articles. And a lot of people get confused as to what a journal article is versus a magazine. So it's very easy. Scholarly journals have a narrow focus. They're very specific. They have things like graphs and charts because they're presenting information. They don't have a lot or any advertising. They include citations. They contain, contain credentials. Their authors are experts um, and they're serious. They're presenting research and they're pretty easily differentiated from popular materials which are easier to figure out. Stuff you'd buy at Barnes & Noble. Broadly focused. They have pictures. They're paid um, partially by advertising. They're not necessarily written by experts. They're usually written by a staff. Um, so you don't have to have credentials or authors and they're less serious in tone. So these are certainly appropriate if you're doing a popular topic, but for any academic topic, you're going to want to focus on scholarly journals. And the best place to find them free of charge is in the library databases. Um, we have literally thousands of them that are accessible to you. And on top of journals and magazines, we have things like dictionaries, encyclopedias, newspapers, uh, films like we saw before, and, and even um, full-length electronic books. So um, no shortage of things that you can encounter in the databases. So again, when you get to this list, don't be intimidated. Just remember that no matter what topic you're looking for, we're going to have a subject breakout. The librarians are going to recommend um, different databases within that. And if you know exactly where you're going, if a professor said you should use Academic Search Complete for this uh, assignment and you don't know where to find it, just remember to click on this list and you can pull it right off. Because uh, again, we have over a hundred of these, anything you're looking for.